Welcome back. In this video, we'll cover some of the different customization options in YG Omega, including sleeves, playmat, and field themes. Let's get started. Many players enjoy customizing their Yu-Gi-Oh experience by having different sleeves and playmats. YG Omega is no different. You can enable custom sleeves and playmats by simply placing JPEG files or JPG files within Omega's folders. You can see that I've installed my copy of YGO Omega to my C drive. Within this folder, I'll go to YGO Omega underscore data, files, and find two important folders, playmats and sleeves. These are the two folders that we'll use to add our playmats and sleeves to. Once we've placed in some sleeves and playmat files, YGO Omega will begin to use them whenever we load into the game. If we place multiple files in each folder, Omega will randomly select a combination of each every time we load into a game. If we want a sleeve and mat combination to be used for a specific deck or decks, we can change the sleeve and mat's file names to match. Then, we can use the deck name and deck tags to match the deck with the sleeve and mat combinations. When a deck is selected, YGO Omega will check to see if there are any sleeve names or playmat names that match the deck tags or name of the deck selected. If no matching names are found, then a random one will be selected from within the files in the folders. Your sleeves and mats will automatically be sized to fit the appropriate layout. However, if the images are not close to the dimensions, they will be stretched and look a little bit strange. Try to reduce this by selecting images that have a native resolution similar to either a sleeve shape or a playmat shape. If you're having issues with specific files being loaded, chances are they're either the wrong file format or they're using a different compression algorithm than what Omega is expecting. All of this can also be done on mobile. However, with various differences between Android versions, you may have to Google to find out how to access your specific phone's file structure. On the Pixel 7 using Android 13, I've been able to access the file structure using a third-party application, as you can see here. In my case, I was able to find the same folders in Internal Storage, Android, Data, Com.DuelistUnite.YGOOmega, and Files. After dropping the files in the appropriate folders, Omega once again displays them when I play. By default, only your sleeves and playmats will be shown, so your opponent won't be able to see them. To find out how to show your sleeves and playmats to your opponent, check out our section on VIP perks and donations in the upcoming video. Sleeves and playmats aren't the only way you can customize your play experience. You can also change the battle environment. In the graphics tab of the settings page, you can select the field theme, or the environment in which you duel in. Each of these has been designed by our team for your dueling enjoyment. This is all displayed locally, and if your device is powerful enough, you can even use the new MSAA setting to make them look even better. Feel free to select whichever theme you wish, from the powerful Necro Valley, Omega Stadium, the freezing Umiruka. We hope you find one that strikes your fancy. If you've been playing YG Omega long enough, you may know that there were some premium themes that were made in the past. These are now considered legacy themes and are not directly supported as we have updated Omega to use a free camera which renders the field rather than continues to rely on the old system of displaying video files. This allows us and you much more creative freedom while being even more efficient for devices while reducing the overall size of Omega. While these legacy themes are not actively supported anymore, there are resources on the Duelist Unite Discord server on how to obtain them for free and configure them with the current versions of Omega. We appreciate your understanding in this. You can customize your YGO Omega experience even down to the music that's played. By saving OGG files to the BGM folder, you can control the music that plays in different parts of Omega. Within the BGM folder are various other folders that govern each screen. The deck folder is the deck manager and deck editor. Duel is for the music that plays while you're dueling, with various subfolders based off of different statuses. Lobby is for the online and room lobbies. Menu is for the main menu screen. And Siding is the music that's played while in the side deck screen. Duel has five subfolders within it, each governing a different status. Battle is the default track that plays when the duel starts. 
Battle losing is played when you are down on life points. Battle winning is played when you are up on life points. Lose is played when you have lost the duel. And win is played when you have won the duel. After placing OGG files in any of these folders, in order to enable the music to play, you must go into the settings in Omega and set the theme to custom. After you apply this, your music will begin to play each time you enter a scenario which you have placed music for. Any scenario which you have not placed music for will use the default. Many MP3 files can be easily converted with an online MP3 to OGG converter, so have fun setting up your own custom tracks. As always, if you need any help or want to be a part of an awesome community, feel free to join us at https colon slash slash discord.gg slash duelist unite. We hope to see you there.